So 45 minutes to produce a stunning, spectacular chicken dish. They know that they are all fighting for that white apron, and they are under immense pressure. They have one of the judges coaching on the sidelines. Here we are watching, and they know that we're going to be tasting and judging their dish. Right now, I'm making chicken schnitzel. A little overwhelming right now. You know, I'm very nervous. Keep everything organized. That's the secret of good cooking. Organize yourself. I'm definitely getting a white apron. And I'm bringing that trophy all the way back to Saskatchewan. I'm making a chicken piccata. I am getting a white apron. There is no doubt about that. Precision is very important. Cut everything the same size, because that way, everything cooks the same. Yes, chef. Can you help me open this? Yeah, yeah. Oh, you're amazing. <laughs> Clifton, what are you doing? Chicken and waffles. It was like my favorite dish growing up. Chicken and waffles is gonna impress me. But Michael there, you know, he's got all these fancy restaurants. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you better elevate this, all okay? Right. <laughs> Good luck, eh? Thank you. I was born in El Paso, Texas. My mother and my grandmother, they taught me how to cook. And so now I'm taking those skills and teaching my daughters. Because you don't know how to feed yourself. Uh, it's going to be a hard road to hoe out there. <laughs> the barbecue I grew up with is not the barbecue that we have here. But the dream for me is my own barbecue joint. Beef ribs and collard greens and mac and cheese. May not be the greatest thing for you health-wise, but it's always full of flavor. <laughs> Hi, Kimberly. Hi. I heard I remind you of someone. Your mother. <laughs> Did you hear that? It was supposed to be is that, a is, it, is that a compliment? <laughs> it's definitely uh, a, it's uh, a compliment. Does she, like, she have blue she, hair? She, she doesn't have blue you. hair, but she might yell at me. I tell you, if you don't do right, I will yell at you. <laughs> All right? OK. What are you making? I'm making a take on Hyannese chicken. Uh, Every time I was sick, my mom would make me on that chicken rice. Right? Chicken wow. and rice. You know, I, I get sick because I eat my mother's food, OK? But anyway, <laughs> I tell you. OK? Do not fail me, your mom. <laughs> oh, Cooks, you have 30 minutes left. Beat the hell out of it. No stress here. <laughs> Low with this side. Hi, Chef Alvin. What are you doing? I am making Acadian Rafi pie. What? what? Acadian what? Rafi pie. Acadian Rafi pie. Yes. It's okay. something you can only get okay. in southwest Nova Scotia. Oh. It is basically dehydrated potatoes, okay. and then I rehydrate them with chicken stock. All right. I'm definitely taking a risk. <laughs> I tell you, I have a lot of confidence in you. So you've been through a lot, right? Yes. Yeah. Three years ago, I got into a car accident. I was told I can't ever return to my job because my eyes couldn't handle computer work and screens. Um, pretty much everything in my life has changed. Um, I wasn't able to do all the things I used to love, and I just started to cook, and that's how I kept my mind busy while I recovered. Okay, good luck. Thank <laughs> Bye. you. Bye. Ah, come on, fork. Since I heard that you could apply for MasterChef Canada, I've been applying every single year. I've uh, applied six times. <sighs> I'm here because of being persistent. I want to show my kids, just don't give up, right? You want something, you work hard, and you can get there. Hi, Josh. Hey, Chef. What are you doing? I'm doing uh, elevated chicken, mashed potatoes, and gravy dish. Oh, that needs a lot of elevation. <laughs> so how are you going to elevate this? I am poaching my chicken in chicken broth with aromatics. Let me tell you a little secret. When you poach chicken, to stop that chicken from getting top is once that water is boiling, turn the heat off. OK. That's to definitely take a point on that, Chef, okay. for sure. OK, don't let me down. I won't. Six times. <laughs> Six times, I never give up, Chef. Nice work, Josh. Time is flying by. Home Cooks, you have 10 minutes left. The time is going by quicker than I thought. Make sure you keep an eye on the clock. We want to see good time management here. Eggs. Not only am I poaching my chicken, I'm butter basting it in a cast iron pan. So I have so much stuff to do. Come on, everyone. Wait, wait. Time flies. This is too big for me to do right now. Oh, my god. All right. It's the first of three cooking heats in the MasterChef Canada kitchen. Ooh, there we go. And six home cooks selected by Alvin are vying for a white apron with a signature chicken dish. We want to see good time management here. Nobody's going to be impressed with raw chicken. I am not going home today. This is not happening. <laughs> you have five minutes left. Whew. Hey, Cliff. Yes, sir. Is that yet? 
Oh, no. This piece right here. All right? It's Is it perfect. seasoned? It's perfect. You should be plating. I want six plates that would make the demon chef proud. Come on, get that sauce yeah, on. Yeah, Drizzle yeah. it on. You have one minute left on the clock. Come on, everyone, put cards, get it on the plate. Come on. Don't forget to clean the plate. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hands up. Woo! Everybody, good job. Yes. Wow. Nice job, everyone. And I know that was intense. Now it's time for us to taste your dishes and make some important decisions. Hey, Clifton, tell us about your dish. Yes, I have a chicken and waffles for you. Got a cheddar and jalapeno inside the waffle. I made a praline sauce to go on top of it. Looks nice. It's a very elegant way to serve chicken and waffles. I like it. Thank you. Nice crunch on that. Do you think this is a dish that is white apron worthy? Absolutely, because most of the stuff that I'm cooking, nobody cooks here. Well, thank you. Thanks, Jeff. It is so intimidating having these three in front of me. <laughs> so this is Hainese fried chicken with butter quinoa. I like the crisp on the chicken. What's in this mayonnaise? It is ginger and garlic. It's a lot of garlic. Mm -hmm. Hi there, Jamie. So this is a plate on a traditional chicken schnitzel. The plating is starting to resemble two thought processes. Yeah. The chicken, moist, crispy on the outside. Thank you. Hi there, Lori. Hi. This is a chicken piccata. I like the combinations of textures. Thanks. But slightly under season. Good luck. Alyssa. Hello. What do we have here? This is an Acadian chicken rapi pie. I got to be honest, I don't know what to think right now. I've never <laughs> seen anything quite like this. That's what I was hoping. I find the combination a little different, a little unusual, but really very, very good. Josh, what did you make here? Chicken and mashed potatoes with a morel gravy. I poached the chicken and then butter basted it after. Carving a simple breast of chicken and fanning it out automatically seems to elevate the presentation. The chicken itself is quite delicious. Thank you. I think it's a tight race, and I'm just wondering if I rocked it out enough to get, a, get an apron. <laughs>